types of circulation basically there are two types of circulation you know first it is called systemic circulation which is also called greater circulation and the second is the lesser circulation or the pulmonary circulation okay systemic circulation or greater circulation the lesser circulation or pulmonary circulation and some people in the systemic circulation only they would like to include a special type of circulation which is called portal circulation this is called portal circulation or some people they say no no we have three types of circulation and they include portal circulation as third group okay so if you talk about the systemic circulation or the greater circulation here the blood is flowing from the left ventricle of the heart to the different parts of the body via the elastic arteries and the muscular arteries and arterioles goes to the capillaries where there is exchange of gases and nutrients finally the blood enters the venules from the capillaries and sinusoids it is entering into the venules and from venules it is going into the medium sized veins from there into the larger veins like superior and inferior vena cava and finally comes back to the right atrium of the heart the blood is traveling from the left side of the heart that is left ventricle to the right atrium of the heart after traveling the entire body so this is called systemic circulation or greater circulation and coming to the lesser or pulmonary circulation it is beginning in the right ventricle of the heart the deoxygenated blood that is present in the right ventricle is going to the lungs via the pulmonary trunk which divides into pulmonary arteries they reach the lungs in the lungs they get oxygenated in the alveoli of the lungs they are oxygenated and this oxygenated blood is returned back to the left atrium of the heart via four pulmonary veins this is called pulmonary circulation so the pulmonary circulation is beginning from the right side of the heart to the left side of the heart it begins from the right ventricle ends in the left atrium okay so that is what we call as the lesser circulation or pulmonary circulation now coming to portal circulation is a very different type of circulation wherein there are two sets of capillaries the blood has to pass through two sets of capillaries before it enters into any systemic vein the blood has to flow through two sets of capillaries before it enters into any systemic vein the portal circulation you know we have got one set of capillaries or sinusoids they are draining into one vein and this is called portal vein so this is the first set of capillaries the first set of capillaries which are draining into a portal vein okay and this portal vein it branches into the right and into the left the portal vein is branching into the right and left to open into a second set of capillaries so you are having the second set of capillaries now greater circulation so let us discuss in detail about the greater circulation now you know we have got the heart right so this is the diagram of the heart we are just trying to understand now this is the left ventricle from the left ventricle we have got the aorta right this is the aorta what we are trying to draw this is the aorta so from the aorta you see the blood is traveling to the different parts of the body 
So what are the different parts of the body? It is traveling to the abdomen, traveling to the pelvis, and traveling to the lower limbs. Okay. Here you have got the capillaries where there is exchange of blood vessels, and from here you see. So here you have got the venules. Okay. Here you have got the venules. You are trying to draw. So this is just a schematic representation. Okay. And here, in the same way, the blood which is going up, you know, you can just it's going up. Here again, you have got the capillaries. Up means it is going to the upper limb, the head and neck. Okay, those portions. And here again, you have got the venules. And why are the venules? Is the superior vena cava through which the blood is opening into the right atrium of the heart now what is greater circulation it is also called systemic circulation wherein the blood starting from the left ventricle goes into the aorta and different arteries that are present in the body elastic and muscular arteries it goes uh, upwards to supply the neck the head and also goes down to supply the thorax, the abdomen, the pelvis and the lower limbs. So here there are capillaries where there is exchange of the nutrients and gases between the blood vessels and the tissue fluid and then you know that is how the blood is flowing right then it enters the deoxygenated blood enters the venules and it enters the large veins that is the inferior vena cava and also the supi that is from the lower limb and abdomen the inferior blood is collected by the inferior vena cava and again you have got from the head and neck the superior vena cava which is collecting the inferior blood both these vena cava empty their blood in the right atrium of the heart so you see the blood starts from the left ventricle goes to different parts of the body in fact almost all parts of the body and finally it is drained back into the right atrium of the heart and this is called greater circulation so because of this greater circulation the different tissues in the body are able to get the essential nutrients and also the waste the nitrogenous waste are carried up by the venules into the large veins and finally into the super large veins that is the vena cava finally they are drained into the right atrium of the heart so this is what you call as greater circulation you know it's interesting to know the pumps present in the body now you know heart is called the pump because it is pumping the blood to different parts of the body the ventricles of the heart the right ventricle and the left ventricle they are pumping blood to the different parts of the heart to uh, the right ventricle and the left ventricle they are pumping the blood to different parts of the body and that's why you call heart is the pump but there is one more pump you know they say now there are two pumps one is the central pump what you are talking that is the heart you already know it then there is something called peripheral pump this peripheral pump what is this it is soleus a muscle that is present in the calf region this soleus muscle is present in the calf region now what is calf you know the posterior portion of the leg the posterior portion of the leg is called the calf now what is leg in anatomy leg in anatomy is from the knee joint to the ankle joint see what you are having is the lower limb in the lower limb you have the upper portion called thigh below the thigh you have got the knee joint from knee joint you have got the leg it is also called crust okay so up to the ankle joint below the knee joint up to the ankle joint the portion of the lower limb is called leg in anatomy it is also called crust 
the posterior portion of the leg is having calf muscles and thus the soleus is a muscle that is called as peripheral pump because it has got lots of venous sinuses why we are talking so much you see elderly people when they are travelling in the bus whole night they sit in the bus and they travel next day morning when they see the leg is swollen you are understanding why because there is pooling of the blood in the veins of the lower limb because they were sitting and there was no exercise you know that's why you see the soleus muscle what it does it is pumping the pooled blood of the lower limbs is that fine thank you